we're going to learn how to make circuits in multi-sim that we will then prototype. It's important to test them in the simulator first because if they don't work there, they couldn't possibly work when you try to make them physically and introduce a whole legion of possible errors. The first thing I'm going to search for is VCC, which is the same as DC voltage. I'm putting it so the long line is up top and the short line is down the bottom. The short line is the cathode. It's the negative side. Long line is the anode. It's the positive side. Then I will get an SPVT. Pop it in right there. I'm going to hit this button that flips it. Now the two contacts are on the left side. The next thing I will get is ground. I'll put it over here. And I'll be using it to connect a bunch of things. First thing, I'm going to connect it to the negative side of the battery. Then I'm going to connect it to one of these switches. Then I will get an LED. I will connect this side of the LED to ground. So there's a circuit for the electricity to flow through. I will connect the output of the switch to the input of the LED. And I will connect this side of the switch to the anode of the VCC. Then I will grab some digital probes. One I'll put right here. Put it right here. I'll move this wire. A little bit. Then I'll grab another one, put it right here. I will duplicate it. I'll put one right here. Why not? We'll duplicate it again and put it here. Wonderful. Now we can play. Right now, the switch is connected to the positive side. So the positive side, the circuit is flowing through. There we go. This says low because it's at zero volts. This says low because it's at zero volts. This says high because it's at one. This doesn't like to try to measure that. It doesn't work well. Now we'll turn it off. Now it says zero, zero. We can see that we're connected to zero. And this remains low. The light turns off. We connect the switch to the positive 5 volts and now all of a sudden these things are reading 1 and this is on. Okay. Now we are going to add some other things to the circuit. We're going to add one more switch. So I'll duplicate And we'll connect that both to ground and to the positive side there. And we'll make one more LED. We'll put it here. Then we'll add an inverter. An inverter right there. Wire these up. Wire these up. We also need to add a buffer. This signal isn't strong enough to show a 0 and a 1 over here without a buffer. It's like the inverter. It just doesn't invert. It repeats the signal. Right now, both of these are connected to ground, the negative side of the battery. So 0 volt, 0 volt, 0 volts, 0. That's showing a low. This is off. Zero volt, zero volt, zero volts. This repeats the signal and then this inverts it. Now it's one. It's high. This probe reads high and the light is on. This is zero volts over here as well. Let's switch this switch. Now it's connected to power, five volts, right? This says one and this says low and this light turns off. If we connect this one to power, this one is now five volts, five volts, five volts. It says high and the LED is on. 